successful. But here's another hard question for you. What happens to our high streets if you take away all the independent shops? Yeah, a very serious question. Well, Steve has been to meet someone who's come up with a social enterprise solution to try and stop that from happening. It's a real disappointment when you see local businesses closing. It's hard work. It's, you know, competing with the big, the big retailers. Supermarkets that do newspapers, birthday cars, butchery, everything, and little shops are going out of business. The future of the retail industry seems uncertain, but here in West Yorkshire, one woman, together with local shopkeepers, think they found a solution to take on those big businesses and revive their high street. Shop Happy brings all the local independent shops together. You choose what you want from as many of them as you like and you pick everything up from one place. Customers want everything in one place. Customers want convenience, but we don't necessarily want to sell our principles or sell our soul or sell our town to get that convenience. How can an app like this compete when it comes to cost? I think it does actually compete with cost. The difference is if I go to, say, a supermarket, I'll end up spending twice as much as I intended because there are so many special offers, etc., around me. When I go to a local shop, I get exactly what I need. But is it making a difference to their footfall? Are more people going in through the door? What we can estimate is that we think that it's been between 200 to 300 extra shop visits in the last eight weeks as a result of Shop Happy. Well, that can make a tremendous difference to a town. It's really hard for independents to survive. So this is going to level the playing field and let local people have a choice. Traders in Saltair and Otley say it's winning back a bit of ground from supermarket click and collect services. Morning, welcome to the butchers. How are you doing today? Do you think shops having an online presence in this way can help build a community? I believe so because I think we've lost that community spirit and something like this can bring back that community. If you haven't got time, you can go on to Shop Happy. If you've got time, then pop in as well. Rosie, this has got to be a perfect setup for you. It's brilliant. You just go online, click all the things that I want, and then basically it's ready to pick up after I pick the kids up. So by the time I get here at six o'clock, basically got everything that I need for the kids' tea. It's just making my life a lot easier. Plus, I feel a lot better because I can support local businesses. In Otley, the pick-up point is the local pub. It's convenient and it's social. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Otley Tavern. Must be more people coming through the door. Of course, yeah, it's going to increase the footfall, but not everybody that walks through the door to pick up the shopping is going to have a drink. But even if they only have a lemonade, it's still extra income to the pub as well. Shops play a vital part in shaping the character of where we live. But in this modern world, they need an edge, and the only way to compete against cheap shopping online is to offer what it doesn't social interaction and, if you're lucky, a drink with some new friends. Cheers. <laughs> 